Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us. Happening now, a change at a Texas agency may stop crime victims in the country illegally from reporting criminal activity. Child Protective Services say their decision was based on a lack of cases. But an immigrant advocacy group says a change removes a layer of protection for those victims. Channel 5's Ana Anguiano breaks down the details for us now at 10. The Texas Civil Rights Project helped 1,500 crime victims across the state last year. The advocacy group worries a Texas Child Protective Service Agency's decision to discontinue their participation in the U visa certification will stop undocumented crime victims from coming forward. The visa program started 17 years ago. It was drawn up by Congress as part of the Victims of Trafficking and Violence Prevention Act. It allows immigrant crime victims to stay in the U.S. for up to four years and makes them and their family members eligible to apply for a green card. It was created. What it does, uh, the way it works, is that an immigrant who is a victim, in order to be eligible to apply, you have to be an immigrant, you have to be a victim of a crime that occurs here in the U.S., and you have to be helpful in the investigation, prosecution, you know, the case pertaining to that crime. An immigrant must be a victim of any one of these crimes to be eligible. A federal, state, or local government agency investigating or prosecuting the case must sign the form that says the victim was helpful in their investigation or prosecution. And then immigration will obviously look at it in more depth to see if the person really does qualify for the status. Mm -hmm. So the certification is the problem here. Glenn Ann O'Neill helps undocumented children who are victims of rape, incest, sexual assault, among other crimes. She works for the Texas Civil Rights Project, an immigrant advocacy group in Austin. O'Neill says CPS has always signed off on the U visa certification form until last spring. I had a client who qualified and I was going to see if I could get a U visa certification and I was told that they were no longer doing this. O'Neill says CPS no longer signing off on U visa certifications will keep victims hiding in the shadows of the crime committed against them. Without a U visa program in, in place, clients are afraid to come forward because they think, you know, they're just putting their name into a system. Um, and so people know that they're, they're out there. Tonight, CPS says they are no longer a part of the U visa certification after a review from the agency's legal department. The legal department found CPS wasn't signing off on enough U visa certification forms to continue. Nobody should have to live with abuse. Nobody should have to stay in a dangerous situation for fear of losing a family member or being deported. O'Neill says for their advocacy group, that reason is not enough. The Texas Civil Rights Project tells us some law enforcement agencies do sign off on certification forms, others do not. We checked in with the Hidalgo and Cameron County Sheriff's Office. Hidalgo County says they do sign off depending on each case. As of news time, we have not yet heard back from Cameron County. In the Channel 5 News studio, Ana Anguiano, Channel 5 News at 10. Another form similar to the U visa for child crime victims is still available, but the special immigrant juvenile status form puts the crime victim at risk of being taken away from their families and put into foster care. CPS released numbers on how many U visa certification forms they process. Spokesman John Lennon says since 2010, the agency has processed less than 10 applications a year. We'll place a complete statement as well as a link to the U visa application form on our website after the newscast.